And welcome to the Rowdy.com NASCAR podcast. What was the, this isn't a podcast, this is a video. Oops. Welcome to the Rowdy.com Big 3 video. I'm Buck Fever sitting right next to ba ba Buzz Cutler, not Bass Masters. Bass Masters is lost right now somewhere on DuPont Circle trying to get off. Going round and round and round and round. He grew up in D.C., but he can't find his way around the city. He really can't. But we find our way around Dover Motor Speedway. What do you got? What are you thinking about Dover this weekend? Well, I actually have driven around Dover with uh, Monster Racing, and I can just tell you I was fast. <laughs> but I've also had the opportunity to interview Ron. Ryan at uh, Dover. Ryan Newman, that is. I call him Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. And um, Ryan Newman told me that, that no other track has a greater sensation of speed. Even though other tracks are faster, you feel like you're going faster at Dover than any other track. And also, there is no other track that is as physically taxing. Um, you are just exhausted at the end of this race. And I think part of that is because of the aggression you need getting into these corners. This is not a track where you just want to float through the corners. You want to attack the corners. If you are going to be successful at this track, you have to be aggressive, Buck. Yeah, that's totally true. We have Jeff Burton coming up on tomorrow's podcast talking about the fact that basically if you're not scared at Dover, then you're not telling the truth. You have to be really, really aggressive. And also, sometimes because of that aggression, you screw up. It's a really fine line. You get really aggressive and then you wreck the car. I know I saw Dale Jr. I was one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen. He smacked the wall so, so hard. My key to Dover... I stole this one from Gil Martin, who we had on the podcast. Pretty good guy today. to steal yeah. stuff from. Kevin Harvick's crew chief. I thought it was really, really interesting what he said. Monkey see, monkey do. What he said was that the line at Dover changes throughout the run. And I was, I was amazed. That you put down rubber, and because it's been uh, diamond ground, the, the rubber gets gets stuck on the track, and then all of a sudden you get that, that groove going down low where you want to be. You want to turn be down low in the corners, take that low line. But all of a sudden, there gets too much uh, rubber and then it gets taken back up again. So the line actually moves up and down the racetrack. I had never heard that before. So you got to keep up with that low line. Yeah, or, or you're going to be caught up in the... I mean, this is another place where you can get caught up in somebody else's big mess. Big time. Big Remember time. Joey Logano last year. Um, all right, so drivers to look out for. Who? Who? What drivers well, are you I mean, focused on? For I'm not going to pick him, but the guy to look for is Jimmy Johnson. He's fairly dominant here. He's really good, and I would say Jimmy would be your guy. you got to really... If you're going to pick one person, pencil him in. Well, here's the thing. The guys that are traditionally strong here... Uh, Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, Greg Biffle ah. are guys who are a little off the pace right now, right? I mean, it, yeah, they're 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 all they're all on the schneid except Jimmy's had had more things happen to him that it hasn't been his fault. So if you put those guys off to the side, mm -hmm. um, then the two I think logical choices you're left with are Jeff Gordon and Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch maybe, maybe. But I think Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon are are probably a step ahead I, at I, Dover. I think Jeff Gordon is due. I mean, I, I, I go ahead, pick him for this race. I, you know, pick him. He's, he's due. He's going to yeah. have his win sometime. It might as well be Dover. I think Jeff Gordon's a great pick. So that leaves me with Ryan Newman. And I know Ryan Newman's three wins were a while ago. His most recent came in 2004. But um, he's been having pretty good runs of late. He's, he's strong right now, definitely stronger than his teammate, and loves Dover. It's his favorite track, and he knows how to get around it. So Ryan Newman is probably a pretty good pick, too. You go with Jeff Gordon. I'll take Ryan Newman. I'm going to get a turkey leg at Dover. He's going to get a shrimp. I'm Buck Fever. He's Buzz Cutler. Come check us out at Rowdy.com. Jumbo shrimp. Big, big shrimp. Oxymoronic shrimp. Oh, yeah, too. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Robbie.com. <laughs>